Hey guys, it's Neo Nexus here, part of Team Waterpon UK with Mr. Sasuke Dragon. Um, since Mr. Sasuke Dragon was a bit tired last night, uh, I'm going to give a bit more of an in depth description about Utopia. Now, he did describe about the TCG rulings versus the Japanese rulings in the sense that you've got a level 4 monster, like Tengu, and say you have another level 4 monster, like Flame Bell Fire Dog. But more commonly, you're probably going to have Flameville Fire Dog, a magician. Normally, you'd synchro into level eight, and now you have the option to Xyz into a rank four. So, when Flameville Fire Dog destroys monster, you special summon magician, then you overlay him, and out comes Utopia. Now, you can detach Xyz materials to negate attacks, even your own monster attacks. But there's been a ruling on it saying that unfortunately you cannot negate attacks when the opponent activates things like D-Prisons and Mirror Force. Yes, it's kind of gay, but then again, Konami, uh, the, the English-speaking Konami like to screw us over a lot, don't they? <laughs> so, you can detach an exceed material like so to negate any attack, as long as the attack has been chained to by another card and so you can do that twice and yesterday in the tournament it did help me out it's a very good offensive and defensive card in one because you can attack with an attack point of 2500 and if you get overpowered which normally you must go to the graveyard what would normally seem like game can mean oh i just actually exceed material i negate that attack Next turn, I tribute Utopia for something like a Kai's or a Dark Dust Spirit, blow that monster off the field, and uh, the game is back in your corner, so uh, that's pretty cool. Now, another example is with Tengu. Now, in the TCG, unlike in the OCG, Tengu and other sorts like Goblin Zombie and Sangan get their effects when they're detached, whereas in the OCG, when you Xyz using, for instance, say you use two Tengus, because you got a pretty crappy hand and you managed to summon two Tengus, you overlay them. In the Japanese, that would mean you can special summon another one as soon as it's overlaid. But over here, in the TCG, you have to physically detach an Xyz material, like so, to special summon another Tengu. It's slightly slower, a bit more controlled. Although, really, Tengu really should not get this effect. Tengu needs to be hit, regardless whether it's a TCG card or not. But that's a discussion for another day. So, back to Utopia. It's both an offensive and defensive card. It allows Tengu spam, it allows Goblin Zombie spam to search cards to your hand. It can do a lot. In some cases, synchros are the better option, but if, in some cases, you know, you just can't go into that Stardust, you go into Utopia, you can block attacks. I mean, that's nearly as good as Stardust. Admittedly, Stardust contributes to negate destruction, but Utopia blocks attacks, so you can survive up to three turns. And as I found out yesterday in Locals, when you remove all its Exceed materials, and then it gets attacked again, although it self-destructs, it still counts as being attacked. So the attack technically, although it doesn't connect, is targeted as an attack target, it self-destructs, and no replay occurs. So they can't attack your life points, so don't worry about that. So, in my opinion, Utopia is a pretty good card. He's easier to keep on the field than the likes of Steel Swarm Roach, but Steel Swarm Roach has the advantage or detaching Nixie's material to negate a special summon of a level 5 or higher monster, which means it doesn't work on Ixie's monsters. But it does work on Synchros and other such monsters as Cyber Dragon and the Tricky. Um, so, that's pretty cool. I quite like Utopia. Um, if I had the option, I'd run Utopia and Roach, which we may well do in the future. Um, because, as you know, I run zombies, and zombies can spam rank 4, so like there's no tomorrow. Go Zombie Master, discard Mizuki to res up Goblin Zombie, Ixies into Utopia. 
Um, block an attack, detach goblin zombie, get the search, search out a plague spreader. And it's just kind of crazy. <laughs> Hopefully zombies won't get touched, because Konami can make a bit of money off zombies. But anyway, that's another discussion for another day. I think I've done a bit more descriptive terms of what Utopia can do and how he can do it. Um, so he has the advantage of staying in attack position without getting destroyed. I think that's pretty cool. So, any final words? Actually, yeah. Write your comments down below and see what you think about Utopia. Be nice to see what you think. Do you think Utopia is a brilliant card or do you think it's a crappy card? Okay. Well, until next time, this has been Team Waterpond UK, signing out. Peace.